Hello ladies, welcome back. It's another lady of the house kind of day and today we are going to decorate. So this past weekend my husband put up our Christmas tree and I just spent the entire day kind of rearranging some things, just making it feel more like I want it to feel around this time of year. I had a little bit of trouble with deciding where exactly I wanted to place the Christmas tree but I think that I really don't have to decide as far as it not being able to be where everybody's going to be sitting opening up the gifts and then where I really want it to be because when it, get when it gets closer to being that time, I think that we can end up moving it if we really want to. But really what I wanted to do was have it placed in the place where I would be able to see it the most and it could be enjoyed the most. So that is where you can see it when you walk into the home. I can see it from the kitchen. I can see it from my office. And of course, whenever we're sitting at the dinner table, it's just the best place I feel for wherever you are going to be within the home. Last year, my mom gifted this Christmas tree to me, and it was something that we found at the at-home store. And I just love the size of it because overall it's much smaller than the one that we had at that time. We still have that tree, but I'm thinking it's time to donate it. And we've had that one for many years. This one I think was $150 at the at-home store. Um, if I can find something similar, I will link it in the description box below, but I couldn't even find it to link it last year that I could remember, at least not the exact same one. So I have moved some things around and one of my favorite things to do is to rearrange things to just make everything feel fresh and new and especially when I am going to be bringing in the Christmas tree, I usually want to move things around anyway. And so I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour as far as how things look right now and what I've done. And then by the end of this video, I am going to be having this tree completely decorated so that all of you can see what it ends up looking like. I like to do this with my kids, but in the beginning, I might end up just putting things on myself and then we will do like all of our family ornaments and everything like that near the end. So hopefully I will be able to show you the finished product. And then I've also gotten a couple of things that, um, like a new painting that I'm going to be having my husband hang up. So that is not in its proper place right now, at least the height of it. But um, by the end of this video, hopefully I will be able to show you what that ends up looking like. So let me share with you how I have moved things around and also this mantle right here, by the way, I'm filming this right before Thanksgiving, so I am going to be um, doing a really beautiful flower arrangement or several flower arrangements for our Thanksgiving day table, which um, what had posted the day before over on Patreon is how I've decorated everything for Thanksgiving. So if you're interested in seeing that, you can head over there. That is going to be in my bonus Lady of the House video for November. And um, that starts at the lowest tier. You're able to get that extra video. And then also the Lady of the House weekly newsletter, which I just started last week, that will be available for you as well. So I'm so excited and I have been really thankful for the feedback that I got from that Lady of the House weekly because it's been a dream of mine to be able to put something into print for all of you and that is available over on Patreon as well. It, it requires a lot of extra work but I am so happy to be doing that and to just have the support of so many of you for doing that. So I would like to completely clear this off. This is going to be the main thing and then my tree as far as today goes when it comes to decorating but also just showing you how I've rearranged everything even down to my office because this was a really big goal of mine for this past month going into December to just clean out and declutter and rearrange my office. It's always great to get a fresh perspective on things and moving things around always does that for me. So come along with me as we decorate and as I show you a little bit of a refresh of my home. Thank you. 
Walking into the home, you will see that there is a sitting area right to the right. And I haven't placed everything exactly where I would want it to. Usually I have another little chair here that doesn't really have a back on it. I mean, it has a back, but it's a low back. That way you can see right into this space. I've brought out this mirror right here, which definitely needs to be um, wiped down. But remember, it was all about placement right now. That's where I was, I was focusing on everything and just making sure that I like where everything is. And I have a little candle over here, which I found this candle from Target and it smells really good. It is the uh, forest fir and that is by Threshold. So I have really been enjoying that one. I have it in a smaller size than, that, than I thought. Well, I loved it so much, so I got another one. And then um, just some pine cones behind that. So bringing out this mirror made it to where um, what I had here originally, taking up some space on this wall, um, it was just very plain when I took it away because I put that little curio cabinet in my office. So I wanted something to take up some space on this wall. I plan on having this painting right here raised and I like this painting more than what it was previously because the other one I just felt was way too small. And I'm also on the fence about putting sconces next to it. So once he hangs that up, I'm going to see if I'm going to want the sconces over there. And not these sconces right here, but the ones that are right in here, right over there, which are kind of crooked. I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I don't know what to do at this point. I feel like that's a really good place for them because they're out of the way and because it lights up a rather dark corner. So I don't know. I think, I think maybe I'll just, I won't put sconces over there. So anyway, let's get back to how I have the arrangement over here. So I have, um, some plants over here, which I moved a little table over there and, um, you know, just wanted some plants. And then this chair right here had been in the corner where the Christmas tree is. So, um, moving that out here, I think was better. And then the chair that I did have here is now over there. And I just took away the more substantial end table that I had right there. Actually, I had um, had an end table over there, probably this one, which was right here. And then I had the one that the plant is on at the end of the hallway over there. But then I ended up moving that blue table, which I had there for just a little while because it was in my office and put this here. So I really like the way that this looks right over here. Um, it just, you know, adds a little something. And of course, Fawn loves this little, this chair, loves the pillow. It's so cozy. And I always love when there is a plant in front of a window. I just think it makes it so happy and, and um, the next thing I'm going to do will be to clear this whole thing off, wipe it down and simplify it a bit, see what I want to do for the holidays. I'm not, not sure just yet, but um, it is something I'm looking forward to just giving it a good wipe down and simplifying things. Now, um, as you can see, the, the tree is not decorated yet. That's something we are going to be doing this evening. The kids are out of school now for the rest of the week, so I just think it's the perfect time to do that. And earlier today, I ended up putting the dog, um, the dog bed under here because peppercorn came over here and laid on top of there, but I wanted it to be nice and cushy for him, so I thought, well, what a great place for that and um, then he could be like a little present under the tree. Now this table is about to be expanded as far as it can go because we have 25 people coming here for Thanksgiving. I know that I'm going to have to end up um, 
you know, moving tables and, and bringing in a table prob probably over in that area. And then I will bring the taller table into here. That way I can have all the chairs around that circular table. It might end up being the kids table. I don't know. We'll have to see, but, um, that is for another video. Today we are just going to decorate the tree and the mantle and show you the rest of what I have going on in here. So as I said, I ended up putting this table down at the end of the hall, which I really like the way that that looks. I was uh, thinking, you know, it might not be such a great look because the walls are, are this it's called filmy green, if you're wondering what the color of the walls are. It's filmy green, not the best name, but um, it's fitting, I guess. And then with this kind of slate blue color of the, this was previously a sewing table, but uh, my friend Jessica repainted it. I just love the way that it looks. And um, it also has some storage in it, which is really nice. And, um, I think that it looks good. And then when, usually if I have company or something, I might end up putting a candle down there as well. So maybe by the end of this video, I will show you what that looks like. But this is one of my favorite times of day because the sun is starting to come in on this side of the home and um, everything just looks nice and golden. And I just love the way it all looks over here. So this is the painting that came from Home Goods. I love this painting because it's it's my favorite color when it comes to a rose. It's that peach, like very pale pink rose with white in it. And those are just the most delicate, most beautiful looking flowers. So um, I just felt like it went so well with the uh, depression glass that I have in the hutch over here and just the peach colored napkins that I often use on our tables. So it all just goes really well together. And um, I just think that it looks pretty good. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this plant there and especially for Thanksgiving, I might end up moving that plant because I want to use this space for um, the desserts. This is going to be my dessert table. And then everybody, as they're getting um, their food, we're going to do it kind of like a um, buffet style and everybody can make their plates coming into the kitchen here. So let's go into my office. I wanted to share with you what I have in here. Um, this is where I moved my desk to from right in the center here. And then the other desk that I have, the secretary desk that I have, I put catty corner right back here. And this just really opened up this space for me. Now I need to have um, my husband drill a hole in the back of this so that we can fit the plug that I now have my printer down here, which is really nice because I don't like seeing um, elect electronics or, you know, just things like this. I don't like them out. And I put my microphone away until I'm going to use it and then, um, all of my paperwork and everything that I need in binders are back there. And then um, this is my packing station and I have like, you know, tissue paper and everything in this box right here. Um, this is my lady of the house binder, which I normally have down there, but um, yes, I think that if you are looking for a really great folder, I got mine from Target. This is by Sugar Paper, and um, I really love their their binders. They're a very soft cover, but it's plain, and it has the gold edges right here. And then you can just you know add them daily if you want. I started putting mine on cardstock. I thought that that would be just a really nice uh, little you know the pages are a little thicker and I could put them like on the back there but for now I'm just going to do them one at a time 
And this, what was really great about having this was uh, today I wanted to make the 30 minute tomato basil soup. And I just grabbed this binder, flipped it open and had everything that I needed on this um, recipe card. So um, I think that this will actually come in really handy for all of you if this is something that you're interested in. And you can even create it, like I put numbers up in the corner for the order in which I am creating them, but you can even create tabs for yourself so that you can have things for recipes or for cleaning or uh, dressing, whatever. I don't know, it, it will be a mix of things. So I mean, completely up to you if you do something like that. Moving on, I put this curio cabinet, which was in the sitting room area, as a place to store books and notebooks and and um, my artwork, things from my Etsy shop, and then just original artwork that I have in here. And um, I just, I love the way that this turned out. I decided just to go with blue in here because I already have so much peach rose and pinks in here. Um, blue is just, it makes my heart so happy and as well as the pink and the blush and all of that good stuff. But just there's something about blue, something blue that makes me so happy and just feels very elegant to me. So I ended up bringing out these boxes that I had in my wardrobe. And I love having them out here in this little blue curio collection that I have here. And then just some paintings, like I said, as well as my paint brushes. So when I'm going to be painting, I can just pull those things out. And then I, that was the thing that I was having an issue with was just having so many things on my desk at one time. So, you know, how do you simplify? How do you make sure that the only things that you're going to have on your desk's desk are the things that you are going to use and um, just deciding what those kind of things are. So um, that's kind of how all of this ended up. I still have some things to go through. I have a bag down here of a lot of things I still need to sort through. A lot of it is like tax stuff and just I want to be able to organize it better. So that's what I'm going to be using this for folder um, for I have things to go through in this basket down here as well so you know still it's a work in progress but it just feels so much better and so much more open and a lot more functional for me when it comes to the work that I'm doing so that is my fresh perspective in my office. And the other thing I did on Sunday was just painted over a lot of these things in here. At, at one point I did a refresh of paint, but it was the wrong finish of paint in here. So I could really see it. And then there were some spots that I never ended up, um, going over that I needed to. So it just felt good to redo all of that. And then of course, you know, I've moved things around, had Jorge move things around several times. And so I had Swiss cheese on my walls and, you know, he filled in the holes and, and so I painted over there and, uh, it just feels good. It, everything feels nice and fresh in here. All right, so I believe it is time to get started, but before we do, I thought that I would share with you my dress of the day. This is my new sweater dress, which I have been so excited to get in the mail. This is from Monsoon London, and they have it in the peacock color as well. I think they have a couple of other colors. Um, all of them have a slightly different neckline, which I think is really neat, especially for a dress that you find in a silhouette that you love. I think that that is what makes it to where you would end up buying more of them is if they change up the neckline because then it feels like a different dress, but yet you have a silhouette that works so well with you. So one of the things I love about these sweater dresses that I'm finding are the fact that they are uh, pleated 
or they have a pleated look. This is kind of like a faux pleating just because um, it doesn't actually lay over each other, but um, it works out so well when it comes to the sweater material. This right here is just nice and uh, fitted up on top, but it's not too tight. So it has, you know, plenty of space like that but the way that it lays on the body is just wonderful, especially for somebody that um, has a little bit more of a midsection right here because when you are looking, you're looking for clothing to just kind of graze your body there and not uh, hug you so tightly. At least that's what I look for in this area. So that, that's why I love this dress so much. It also looks wonderful underneath the coat that I have been wearing for this season. Now, these sleeves kind of balloon at the bottom there, but then they get, um, they're very fitted around the wrist. And this is great because when you put on the coat, it just stays in place. And um, then you can pull them up kind of like a three quarter. Let me do that three-quarter sleeve there and then your sleeves are not hanging in the sink when you're trying to do dishes or anything like that. It just makes you feel like you can do all the things that you were wanted to do. And then the neckline right here I think is really pretty. I'm trying to capture it. See how that looks? It just looks it looks so beautiful. So anyway, um, this is my dress of the day. When I first got it, I felt like, oh, this color is not for me. It's so dark. It's a hunter green color. So I was a little nervous about wearing it, just, you know, not feeling as if I felt like my true self in it, but it's growing on me the more I wear it. And I know that I'm really only going to be wearing this in the winter anyway. And I do like changing colors out depending on the season. So um, this is definitely a dress I would recommend. They have great sales going on. Um, if it's out of your price range right now, maybe wait for a sale to come through because even since I've receive this dress they've had a couple of different sales so um, now is a great time to find all of those things especially for black friday which is when this video is coming out so definitely go to see monsoon i think you just go to monsoon.com but it's monsoon london and um maybe this dress piques your interest and um, there is no zipper on it or anything. It's just a pullover. And like I said, I've been looking for wonderful sweater dresses and um, I don't like the kind that just look like a sack. I don't like the kind that just button down. Uh, something that is more timeless is more my cup of tea. And so I am happy to be sharing this with you. And if you have found a sweater dress that you just love, please let us know in the comments below. And um, then we can all take a look. So now on to decorating. <laughs>
This video was brought to you by our patrons and all those who've purchased from the Inspired by Nikki store. Thank you. I'm grateful for all of my returning subscribers. Your continued support and kind words are an inspiration to me. I want to welcome you if you are new and invite you to subscribe to be inspired daily to make the everyday beautiful.